all of this pushes into cold air in place across the Baltic countries and into Scandinavia. There'll be more heavy snow. Some wet weather in Africa, just lifting a little bit further northwards here. Plenty of dry weather now into South Africa and temperatures are edging upwards. Another area of low pressure pushing across the Middle East. So we'll see some more wet and windy weather here that will continue to advance eastwards with rain and mountain snow in the coming days. Now in India, uh, cold conditions across the north. Plenty of weather warnings for this and for the fog, which is dense in places too. It is a largely dry picture. Just be aware in Central Asia, things are about to turn much, much colder. Whereas across much of China at the moment, temperatures are well above average for the time of year. Somewhat cooler into the southeast where we are going to see cloud and some rain. And there are still quite a few heavy showers around into the Philippines, especially across central and southern islands. This is where the wettest weather in Australia is going to be, starting to become more focused towards parts of Queensland. There's some heat around into the south, but uh, we are going to see things turning cooler eventually in Adelaide and turning much wetter and windier from the north across New Zealand. Whoa! There is art all over Istanbul, but this has to be the strangest of all. Music is such an important tool in our lives, not just to bring pleasure, but also to heal and to bring hope. We're just in a period now that African brands are just owning that, owning what we have and projecting it in however they see fit. I just love this place because this is somewhere where memory itself is set in stone. Inspiring Arts and Culture on BBC World News. Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Ben Bulos with the latest headlines for viewers here in the UK and around the world. The new Speaker of the US House of Representatives, finally elected after 15 rounds of voting, says former President Trump helped him get there. I don't think you should anybody should doubt his influence. He was with me from the beginning. Somebody wrote the doubt of whether he was there. The UK's Prime Minister, Health Secretary, NHS bosses and Treasury Ministers discuss the challenges facing the National Health Service. Iran is facing international condemnation for hanging two more people said to have been involved in nationwide protests. The UK called their executions abhorrent. And we hear from the multitasking environmentalist who's cleaning up the streets of the UK. Hello, welcome to the programme. The newly elected Speaker of the US House of Representatives, Kevin McCarthy, has said that former President Trump helped him finally secure his position. After 15 rounds of voting and sometimes acrimonious exchanges with fellow Republicans, he said, I don't think anybody should doubt Mr. Trump's influence. President Biden congratulated Mr. McCarthy for his win and said he looked forward to cooperating with this party. Our Washington correspondent Gary O'Donoghue reports. It took the 